welcome to St Margaret's Community Church and I'd love to share what we've been up to this past year and um, some really exciting stuff so follow me. So you have to excuse the hair it's like um, a few months of growth but anyways here we are, this is really exciting. This was a, um, a dingy little reception. Now we've got um, toilets in here, which is really exciting. So we've got, there's three loos, which is amazing, amazing. But we spent the first year with just one toilet, which was right at the back of the church. So that's why we're so excited about toilets. Um, and we just want to welcome, we can't wait to welcome the whole community back into this church. We are so excited. So we've invested money into this floor. We've put a, um, a new heating system in. One thing we wanted to do was to, to be really green, to be as green as possible. So we looked at all the options and we have made it our commitment that at St. Margaret's Community Church, we want to love and cherish our environment, the creation that God has given to us. We want to make sure we safeguard it. So we've installed um, two air source heat pumps and they are going to supply 92% of our heating at St. Margaret's. And here I am with a t-shirt on today. It's amazing. And plus, it's, it's completely renewable as well. So there you go, and we've got a new heating system and this is St. Margaret's, it's nice and warm. Over here is our community food bank and it started on this shelf. People from the community used to donate food, people in need used to take food. And then we knew what happened, didn't we? In 2020, we had this thing called COVID-19. It changed our lives. We went from this shelf to this. It's been incredible. We have served well in excess of 7,000 people this year. That's 7,000 people that have been fed because of our love for the poor and our love for the lost. And also because of our community's generosity. We could not have achieved what we've achieved without our community donating each day. So brilliant, it's really exciting. So there's our food bank. Um, a year ago, we had, uh, we started a community cafe and uh, we've got some funding and here we are. This is our new community kitchen, new community cafe. We, are, we can't wait to open the doors um, in May of the cafe. The cafe is going to be open, serving our wonderful community. So there you go. Over here, I've got my cameraman, his name's Kieran, he's doing a great job. This is um, where, this is the area here where you can come and you can sit down, you can uh, browse, read a book, you can go in our new booth that's been made, and you can chill out and you can have a coffee. This is all here, this is for you. We want the whole community to come in here. We want people, you know, we found out when we were open just two days a week that people who were lonely came here. They, they found friendship, they found belonging. They even came to faith. People found Jesus when we were open those two days a week. So we're gonna go into our next little bit of excitement. This is still very much work in progress, but Amy and the team have been hard at work. So this is gonna be our community shop, selling everything from clothes to books to uh, CDs um, to small items of furniture, blessing our community. So if you've got anything to donate, please get in contact with Amy. And this community shop will be open in April, as soon as non-essential retail shops can open, we will be open. So we're really excited about that. One thing that we're really passionate about is reaching families. In our community, in our parish, we have a really high proportion of single parents. So my heart, I just really felt God say, Fran, I want you to reach 
them? They, why are they not coming to church? And I don't know why they're not coming to church, but I think I may have found a solution, which is a soft play area. I've heard this crazy thing that maybe we could do this. And with the help of, um, of our council and a big shout out to Steve Pitt, who has just been an incredible support. They, um, they gave us 15,000 pounds towards this soft play area. And it was a conversation that started in this community church that we, we, it went further on when we was walking our dogs in the graveyard. But thank you so much to Portsmouth City Council for, for helping us achieve this dream. It's gonna be an affordable soft play area for the people in our community. We just want to bless our community. We want to, we want to just show everyone that Jesus loves you. And this is one way we can do that. So here we are. This is St. Margaret's. We meet here every Sunday at 4 p.m. We'd love to see you on a Sunday afternoon. And I just want to thank you. I want to thank everybody who has donated food, everyone who has given to the work of St. Margaret's Community Church. We could not have achieved all we've achieved without our community's support. And we still, we still have a big dream. We still want to, we still want to achieve more. We still want to bless our community. And the things we want to do to make this space just so much better and inviting, we want to invest in the lighting, at the moment, we are powered by fairy lights, and we know it's not ideal. So for that, we're going to need to raise a bit more money. We want to improve the sound. So we've got a sound system, but we need to improve the sound so people can hear what is being said on a Sunday, so people can hear music really clearly. And we, want to, we, we know how important it is to live stream. So we want to improve our live streaming. At the moment, we're doing it on my iPhone, which is okay, but it's not okay. We just want to give our community the best. So we're going to need just to raise just a little bit more money to achieve our dreams of blessing our community. And if I say it really quickly, we need to raise probably £30,000 to um, install a sound system, a PA, to get the visuals right so people can view what goes on here worldwide. We need to invest so that people can see the lighting. And first of all, look, I just wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. What you have given, we have invested well. And this church is viable, we've seen it grow, we've seen lives transformed. And we're just asking, will you play your part in, in seeing our dream come true? In seeing this place, you know, um, fully lit, people can hear for the next 25 years. Will you help us achieve that dream? The best way you can do that is go onto our website. It's got all the links there on how you can support um, helping us get to our goal of new lights, of sound, and so that people can see on a Sunday. But thank you so much to everyone who has supported us and have blessed us and encouraged us over this, what has been a really, really tough year. And we couldn't have done it without you.